Alright, welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. We are at part four at possibly my worst moment. You guys probably know what's gonna happen. Oh. Yep, there it is. The ooze covered door won't budge. Well, it's too bad I didn't have any spare acid. Keep going, there must be a way out of this place. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, there's a switch. Hi! You fucking... Asshole. Oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh god. Alright, alright, alright. Uh. Laudanum. I hear you, gate. Don't worry. That was too close for comfort. Don't miss. Oh, thank God. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, closed. I didn't make it out in time. Nope. I see your game, water monster. Oh, let's lure him out a bit. Oh, 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 okay, 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 calm down. Shit. 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 Get up there. God damn it. Okay, okay, all right. There we go. Oh, come on! Fucking dickhole. Hey, you want a treat? Go get it. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, oil. Very nice. Oh, this way. Ah, shit. That wasn't enough. Now I'll wait for him to stop. Go get it. Go get it, boy. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, if only it opened much quicker. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, grab you. Kinda remember this a little bit. Damn. Alright, it broke through. Alright. Cool. I didn't know how that would play out. Something large brushed against his leg, and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. It was that water monster. Or it was a shark. One or the other, honestly. All right. Pull doors. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, alright. Come on. Jesus. I don't know how close that was, but I assume it was pretty close. 
Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Back hole. Yay. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquered hole of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? I'll tell you this right now, man. None of this is a dream. No, no, this is a dream. Ah, oh, peaceful music. And a door opened. I'm gonna go opposite way. Uh, oh, we have a transition door here. Storage, okay. <clears throat> Guest room. Good. Study. Alright, and what's through this door? Oh, the elevator. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Good to know. Okay. It's not working. Of course not. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Well, an electrical grid would be the first step, but then again, this is all 16th century, so can't rely on that. Now it's locked. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Alright. Um, hum, 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 uh. Let's see. Uh, let's go... Here. Let's go to guest room. You tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? That's a very good question. 2nd of July. 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, I assume it's one of the monsters that attacked him, more or less. Let's see. There you go. Ah, and a crowbar. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th. The day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. 
madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? A second orb! Because you obviously need two balls to work. Uh, let's see here. Anything of importance? Oh. Oh, a memory. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Hmm. Baron. I think you're lying to me. If you lie to Wilhelm, then why on earth would Daniel trust you? Then again, Daniel probably doesn't know about what happened to Wilhelm. The door is stuck to a broken lock. How about we crowbar it? Easy. The oh. Please let it be here. Damn it. Uh, an important key is hidden in the guest room. In here specifically? 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. I mean, they more than likely have otherworldly purposes. Uh, any tindies around here? Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. Shit. I gotta quickly... Shut up. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. Ooh. Oh, he went into that closet. Hey, buddy. How you doing, you big ugly mug? Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here, man. Nobody even likes you. Oh. Nice. I honestly forgot where it was. So, I'm kind of glad the painting kind of swayed a little bit for me to see it. Get out of here. And oh, God! <laughs> it exploded to bits! Okay. Is that all there was? Is the machine room key? Might have missed a tindy or two. Oh, a Luduna. Let's go. Alright. Are you gonna explode? Well, you certainly did, because you did not come out like I thought you would. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I just need to like shut up and not like mock any of the hauntings that have happened recently. Can I get up top? I feel like I could get up top. Hold on, I want to get up top of the bed real quick. This has nothing to do with anything. I just want to get up on the bed. The very top of it, anyway. I'm king of the world, bitches! Alright. Good stuff. Thanks for bending your knees, Daniel. That way you don't have to break your legs. 
Alright. And there was nothing else, so, uh... See, I got the key. I still have a hollow needle. Might use as another pick lock. The lock pick. Uh, Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Well, you don't like to see... Ooh. Hi. What are you doing here? That's not cool. A study. I'll get into that in a minute. I want to check out this machine room key real quick. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. The shadow that is haunting us right now? So I doubt it's that kind of shadow. Alright, what's through this open door here? Hi. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Mm, maybe not directly, more like indirectly. If that makes any sense. What's all this? Uh, more switches to deal with, I suppose. Pressure. Ad quartio presses. Whatever that means. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I... No? Okay. Oh, it was just... Telling me they turned the boxes. Okay. Anything here? Anything here? Nope, nope, okay. Something tells me that's important. I'll figure that out later. Nope. Uh. Oh, what are you? Well, there's a gear. If I know gears like I think I do, those definitely are important to bring with me. Uh, let's put on a tinderbox, why not? Or two. I have so many tinderboxes, it's like, not even funny. Alright, uh, machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. So, I need to find three rods. A couple of them in storage, and one in the study. Inner study. I hear you, and I know who you are. Oh dear, it's dark in here. Uh, oh yeah, forgot to bring a cog with me. Cog wheel. Doesn't fit that one, but if it's this one... Let's put on some lights. I hear you groaning out there, you sassy Sue. Oh. Well, damn. Good stuff. Oh, there's no more. Alright, whatever. Uh, let me find two more of those. Oh, what's this? Oh. Nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Well, how about some coal?
Burner is now full of coal. There we go. Oh, I was in the way. There we go. Got some coal in the burner. Now I just need to find two more cog wheels. Did I miss any in here? did. I'm gonna just be very meticulous about this. Okay, nothing. Alright, let's go find us some cogwheels. We'll be able to power that thing up. Oh, there we go. One right here. Nope. It fits in there. There you go. And then there's the last one in that switch room. Whatever that is. My vision was going weird. I thought my vision was going weird. There you go. Alright, alright. There we go. Nope, that's the wrong one. Just wanted to rotate it. There we go. Um. Oh, what's this? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others from a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Uh, seems like that didn't exactly work for you, buddy. Uh, oh, here's the switch. Well, oh, machinery needs more work before it'll run. Uh, great. I assume it has to do with the rods and the switches. Oh, I'm definitely missing a note. Oh, here we go. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. So the shadow went after people that we knew, which is honestly pretty fucked up. Great. You know, if you ever pick up an orb that is like ever changing, just leave it. Don't pick it up. I hear you, and I don't know what you want from me. But I don't think I can really do anything else except for grabbing those elevator rods. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and laid collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Daniel? I assume that's what they're talking about because... He was the only one that mentioned sedatives to begin with. 